Okay, you guys. Okay, so this is a bit of a different video than I usually do. Uh, as you can see, I am modeling some clothing right now. Uh, disclaimer, I am not a model at all. <laughs> I'm just going to be having fun showing you guys some clothing. Uh, this is my capsule wardrobe video um, where I am actually showing you the clothing on. Um, if you're interested in hearing what exactly a capsule wardrobe is, go ahead and check out my other video. Um, I'll put the link in the description box um, and you can hear in detail what it's all about. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so for those of you who've already watched that video or know what, you know, a capsule wardrobe is, um, you know what's going on here. So, currently I am showing you the first outfit. Um, I have black jeans on, which are kind of a staple. And right now I've just paired it with a blue t-shirt that both are quite plain and can mix and match with a lot of things in this wardrobe. Okay, so now I've added a simple jacket to it, um, a sweater I should say, um, just a little tiny sweater, it's um, kind of like a, I don't know, violet, violet blue type colour, black as well with the shirt and the pants, and then you can see that I have some boots on, some like booties, that I'm pairing with uh, the jeans and the shirt again. So by adding the sweater, I've, I've actually got a second outfit. Okay, so what you're going to see is I'm going to be able to add, like, for example, this other sweater now. Um, it's just like a long, light brown, kind of knitted sweater that changes the look entirely. Not entirely, but you get the point. It changes the look and creates another outfit, basically. Um, which is really kind of the point of the capsule wardrobe. It's got some buttons on it. You can see that um, I'm just using my um, bedroom as a space to kind of show you what's going on and what I'm wearing. Um, I did lay out a few kind of like floor mats on the ground so you could kind of hear the walking sounds to give you a bit more of an ASMR experience with this. Okay, so you can see that I've added a black shirt this time. Again, same jeans, same boots, um, but just a different shirt that can easily match with simple black jeans. Um, this shirt is really cute, I've had this for quite some time. Just got like a bit of a cool detail on the top, a bit of a mesh thing going on, um, cute little tiny sleeves. Um, and it's just cotton. I wear and wash this thing all the time. And um, you can see I have a belt too that I am wearing. Um, typically with capsule wardrobes, things like belts um, or other accessories don't count for the number of items that you use um, or put into your capsule wardrobe. So like a, a bracelet wouldn't count if you wanted a capsule wardrobe of 25 items, your bracelets wouldn't count. Yeah, I've changed my boots now. You can kind of see these are darker brown boots. They're a little more casual um, than the other ones that were a little bit higher heel. So these are kind of like I can go to the grocery store. I can go anywhere in these. I wear them all the time, just everywhere. Um, and then I paired it with that sweater again. And it's like a whole other outfit just because the t-shirt's different. So this one, this t-shirt is um, also the, the previous kind of light blue shirt. It's the same, they're, they're both from Target, this one and the other. So that was quick, I just kind of wanted to show you a different colored shirt with it, but it's really similar like to the blue one. Um, but yeah, they were from Target, like 10 bucks or something. So now I've just put the little violet blue jacket um, with this kind of, it's more of like a turquoise, like a teal white shirt. Kind of just paired that differently. Now I've got some different shoes on. These are just tennis shoes. Um, and so I wear this kind of stuff all the time too. Um, this is just a, like a, kind of my workout jacket. Sorry for the stains. <laughs> but I, I wear this jacket all the time when I go to dance. I just put this on top of whatever. 
Um, and I wear it to like, the grocery store everywhere, just all the time. So I just throw some, my black jeans still on, and I just put my tennis shoes on with it. That same kind of uh, greenish turquoise, whatever that color is. <laughs> like sea foam, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. And here, just take the jacket off, and it really is like a different kind of outfit. Sorry, I don't know why it's... I don't know if the uh, video is doing something weird for you guys too, but... Yeah, so anyway, um, this is... I think it's because we had to cut so often in this one. And sorry, it got a little bit weird there. But that's just me without the jacket. And now, just the... Uh, this is a black t-shirt, so... This is different from the black kind of cotton shirt I showed you before that had the mesh detail on top. This is just a simple black tee. Um, it's got a little tiny pocket. This was from Target years ago, actually. Uh, I've, went, I've had this shirt for probably like five years. It's great. Yeah, just stuck it with the same. So as you can tell, this whole time I've had the same jeans on. Just kind of showing you the shirt. and It is a tiny bit, you can see, just a tiny bit see-through if it's in the light and you pull it away. But really, it's, I've got bright light like from the out from outside shining on me it usually doesn't kind of show through that much um yeah just put the jacket on with it and kind of have a bit of a new look there's my awesome stains there's a, some baby food or something sorry <laughs> yeah this is a really comfortable really great jacket it's got a collar there All these different outfits are... Uh, I think I'm starting to dance right now. I can't help myself, I think. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, all these outfits are just paired with these same jeans. Um, these jeans, when I purchased them, came with a tiny hole, but like as I wear them all the time, that hole keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm in a skirt now, obviously. I've changed... Um, just to the skirt, this is going to be like kind of my base now. Um, this is, you know, like a leather skirt, it's not really leather. At least I don't think it is. Gosh, I was given, it was a friend of friend of mine had it, and again, clothing exchange. We always do clothing exchanges, so I don't think it is. I hope not. <laughs> I should check. Just recently got it. Um, yeah, so I paired it with the same boots, the booties that kind of a heel, so this is a little bit more like, um, less, it's not casual you know like something you can go out in if you wanted um and then i've paired it with that same black top from earlier that has the mesh top mesh uh, portion on the top and some buttons um which kind of makes it a little more casual because it's just like a t-shirt on top but yeah it can kind of go either way i feel like you could um do uh, a bunch of different events and things with that kind of outfit um now i just added that sweater to it the little blue sweater and it just like you know gives it a little bit different look it's just a whole new outfit in a sense this sweater also um was a clothing exchange find I believe in fact I mean, I'll probably share I I probably already shared the details of where all these items are from in the other videos so sorry if you you watched both and you're getting um, some information twice but yeah cool skirt um, um, um just again just recently got it and i thought it would work perfectly for a capsule wardrobe video because it's got it's like that plain color you can match it with a lot of things yep and now i'm just throwing on the other jacket so you can see like you can have few few sweaters and jackets in your wardrobe and they can really be mixed match with lots of things. I I love the idea of kind of that um, juxtaposition of the like, kind of formal like leather look with this like knitted sweater. Probably not everyone's going to dig that, but for me, like I love that kind of stuff. Um, so that's just my style, I guess. I like that kind of thing. So that's why I've paired it. Um, I'm buttoning these these cute little buttons. I've had this jacket, this sweater for a long while. So gosh, I want to say like ten years. I've had this, and I got it. I think at like a Burlington coat factory years ago. Like I said, ten years ago, ish. Um, I just like the way this uh, sweater fits, and it's 
It's got like a bit of a boho feel to it, which I like. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking in the background. I hope not, but those guys just barking all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I've just taken the sweater off. Can you guys hear this dog? I just want to know if you can hear the dog. I have to edit this dog out like, all the time. We have neighbors that have like a million dogs. Like literally they have four dogs on one side of us and the other side has one dog. So I'm editing dog box art like all the time. In this case it's a little bit different because I'm recording um, just like a voiceover right now which I've never done. It's the first time I've, I've done this. Um, so I apologize if you're hearing dogs barking. I have to figure out if I do this again how to edit those guys out. Because I'm kind of like watching the video with no sound and not talking over it. So I'm not tech savvy enough to figure that out quite yet. I figure that out. And my husband's good at that stuff. Anyway, so new jacket on top of this. Again, kind of that juxtaposition of really kind of more formal and casual put together. And I've changed my shirt um, to what the seafoam shirt. And again, same thing, just a different shirt, throw on a different. It's amazing how many combinations you can create in a capsule wardrobe. I actually limited it, believe it or not, with just the, all the items I had. I could have done more combinations, but I don't want to overwhelm you and just like constantly be this video going for hours and hours. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so a different bottom. So we did the jeans, we did the black skirt, and now I've got some shorts. Just These were just actually uh, pants originally, and you can see kind of the frayed bottom. I cut them a long time ago um, to just create some shorts, and I wear them all the time, actually. Um, and I've had some of these clothes for so long. Like I, I think I've had those original pants for like, I don't know, 15, 18 years had those and so I just like cut them at one point and yeah I wear them in little booties and I've got the same kind of shirt on. I've changed now to the black shirt um, and yeah just this can be kind of casual like with these booties like it makes it just a little bit nicer like if I'm going to something that's casual but night like you know like, I don't know like a birthday party on a Saturday or something where you're kind of supposed to look sort of nice but like I'm wanting to just wear my shorts and a t-shirt, just put my booties on and then, you know, something happens. <laughs> Makes it a little bit more like I'm going to a birthday party or something. Okay, then I throw the blue sweater on top. And again, you can do any, any sweater that kind of matches different things in your wardrobe. Obviously you want to find colors that look best on you. Um, I feel like black is a color that is really nice on a lot of skin tones. Um, it's one it's one of my favorite colors to wear actually. Black is one of my favorites. But um, I will show you how to incorporate designs and colours into your wardrobe. You don't have to have like all plain stuff, plain coloured things to do a capsule wardrobe. And again, I'm, I'm only showing you a portion of things to give you an idea if you wanted to do an extreme capsule wardrobe. This is kind of more the direction that you would want to go. It's funny to watch myself do this actually. I've never done it before. I'm just like having fun. You guys know that I'm a dancer so I'm trying to like use some of my dancing skills to make this somewhat decent modeling for you. <laughs> but I was having fun. Okay so again same thing just different boots. These are my more casual boots that I would just go to the store in or something like that. Um, do some errands. Time, like I said, 
see that mat that kind of swept into the picture? Um, that's what you're hearing the sounds of me walking on. I'm just trying to kind of kind of scuff my feet a bit for you guys for some ASMR sounds and such. Just throw my jacket over there. So I just, um, I throw these jackets on top of all sorts of things that I'm wearing. Um, I do have a couple others that are kind of staples for me that I didn't include in this. Because really, like I said, the idea is to have a few things that are, can go with everything. Um, typically people have like really nice quality things that can last longer. I don't. <laughs> Most of my things are just, you know, like I said, those are pants I've had for 18 years that I cut. They're like fringed. But yeah, you can, if you're doing a capsule wardrobe, you can, you can purchase things that are nicer. So if you want like a really nice pair of jeans and you, you want them to last for a really long time, you want to spend the money on them, um, you can go in and do that. And it's not like you're purchasing uh, like really expensive pants all the time. You're doing it once and they're going to go with everything. So. It's a little bit more justifiable in a way. Um, so now I've got tennis shoes on with these shorts and just threw on my like workout jacket to create a different look and just something I can, if I need, if I'm taking a walk with friends, something I could have worn on these with um, just my, my little shorts. I just put my blue shirt on. Man, these shirts from Target, they're so soft. I don't think they have them any longer because I purchased them a little while ago, but... Okay, now, so I have like a standard black dress. Um, again, really great for a capsule wardrobe to have some plain, um, like solid colours. I mean, not plain, solid colours that you can add to, like, if it was a really uh, unusual colour, it might be hard to, like, you wear all the time. People be like, that's your green, that's your lime green dress again. Like, <laughs> but I wear this all the time and people don't really realize because it's black and it currently looks like a dress, but when I put a top on it, it looks like a skirt, for example. Doing some twirls, having fun. And I do have, um, like, um, a half camisole on. You could kind of see that in the back there. Typically I wouldn't wear that with that um, with this dress so you don't see the camisole on the back but um, for the purpose of this video I don't want to keep changing that so I usually had that on for most of the outfits. So, so like I said I've added a sweater um, and here I'm, I'm only going to button, I, I think I only button a couple buttons for you instead of them all but just to kind of show you that if I put them all together and they were all buttoned um, sometimes people, you know, it kind of looks like a skirt then and they don't really realise it's the same dress. So you can really do a lot with a little, you know? Um, I've really enjoyed paring down my closet. Um, I, I love creativity and actually one of my- I love um, getting dressed. I actually have a lot of fun with it. Um, and, and so prior to learning kind of how to pare things down in my life, I uh, just had tons and tons of clothes and I didn't want to let go of anything because I wondered if one day I might need purple tights, you know? Because, you know, you never know when you're going to go to a party and you want to dress like a rainbow and you're going to need purple tights, which is legit in a way, you know? But I, I just had a lot of stuff and I kind of wanted to pare it down, especially since we're living in a smaller space now. Um, and so I've really enjoyed that because I ended up keeping only the things that I really love and I noticed that I had so many things in my closet that I never actually wore and I actually didn't like them on me. Um, I just kind of had them for, well, it could work someday maybe and I never actually wore it. Um, it just sat there. So this has been really fun for me because actually everything I'm showing you like I wear all the time and they're my favourite pieces so um, I like that I, I'm, I'm enjoying it when I'm wearing it it's not just something random that it's not really my personality because I would go to clothing exchanges and just grab like anything and everything but I'd find myself wearing things that weren't really me um, I kind of like that paring down meant really the things that 
fit my personality and stuff. The truth is, if I could wear anything, I'd probably wear like uh, Renaissance dresses all the time, or like dresses from like Pride and, Pride and Prejudice. Like I like other eras a lot, um, so I guess it's not technically wearing exactly what I'd want to wear, but but it really is. It's kind of like um, a modern version of what. You know, I can't really walk down the street in a renaissance dress and not be, like, stared at, which is not fun. Um, I'm not, I don't want to go to the grocery store and have everyone staring at me, really. <laughs> so, but I do like to be unique and I, I don't mind if, um, I like to wear unique things. And, um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't wear, like, a full-blown renaissance dress my errands okay so yeah you guys get the picture like I'm just changing it up I'm adding things um, I've got this obviously this tan skirt that's been the base for quite a few outfits now and I'm pairing them pairing it with all sorts of different shirts and sweaters and mixing it up and creating totally different outfits with it Thing, just different boots. Um, these boots just make this this uh, skirt a bit more casual. Um, it's a little bit more formal skirt for me, at least. Um, not formal, formal, but you know, not like everyday events. Then I would wear that out. So the booty, the boots, these little brown ones make it a little more casual. So now you see this. I like a purple, mauve, mauve, what are we looking at here, maroon type colours of the skirt. And honestly I'm not really super fond of this group of clothing together, the black shirt with it, but um, I don't, this is a new skirt that I, that I was given, again, clothing exchange, and I wanted to kind of try it out and see if I liked it. Um, it's fun. But yeah, it doesn't quite fit into my capsule wardrobe and like into the wardrobe I have because I don't have any too many shirts that go well with it. So the only thing I had that was really like, would go decently at all with it was my black shirts. So I'm um, kind of just trying it out for this video and seeing if I'll wear this skirt. To be honest, I'm not sure if I will. Um, it's fun, but it's really itchy. <laughs> and that could be a determining factor. Pretty sure that's like the same outfit, I'm not sure what just happened. <laughs> Is it like a repeat or something? Oh, I'm taking the jacket off, okay. Are there different boots or something? Oh, different boots, got it, okay. So yeah, I've changed the boots and just kind of, you know, flipping the shoe flipping shoes around even with the same outfit can sometimes change the outfit. This is one of my favorite dresses. Oh, but he is doing something weird. Apologies. Um, yeah, this was a dress that I got on Amazon. Um, I actually put it on my Christmas list. And I got it, uh, I like, she was like, you know how you have a wish list on Amazon sometimes, things you want for maybe a birthday or Christmas. So I put this on my Amazon list for Christmas and I received it and I was so excited actually then went and got um, a black dress that's the same like cut and everything except it has long sleeves and a little bit different design. I just love these long flowy dresses and there's some pretty like, fun designs. I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try and put a link to that maybe in this video or in the, the video that I explained the capsule wardrobe in. So if you're looking for links for items that I'm wearing um, that, <laughs> that, are, that you can actually get still today which is not very many of these because like I said most of them are just from like clothing exchanges from years ago but this dress um, I should link for you because I got it recently and I'm pretty sure they're still on Amazon.
So I've just got, see, and see how this sweater actually matches this dress? So even though this dress has lots of pattern and it's not something you can wear every day without people noticing you wearing the exact same dress, um, if you have some sweaters that match it, like these, you can wear it a little bit more often and it does kind of look more like a skirt right now and um, you can kind of get away with wearing it more often. Yeah, video's doing weird stuff. We just had so many cuts in this. There's more cuts than I've ever done. So I think that's why it's freaking out. Sorry if you're seeing that. I don't know if it's just my version or what, but if the video freaks out, any apologies. There it is, that's the last one. Okay, you guys, blowing you kisses. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.